All right, this video is going to show you how to interpret the results of your CAPME evaluations. Let's go ahead and log in again using your du.edu email address. And once you get in, we're going to be back at the page where it shows you all of your evaluations to date. We can see that we have submitted the one we just did. And we can see the ones that have been released and they will have this review results next to them. And here we see how you rated yourself, how your teammates rated you, and the average rating for you and your team. Now that third rating is what's gonna actually count towards your grade if you're getting graded on peer evaluations, and that is what everyone or the instructors are gonna see once they look at your results. So you can see these results are pretty positive towards me and my team. So let's look at ones that are not so positive and have a lot of variability in them. So again, we have the same ratings, how you rate yourself, how you rate your teammate, or how your teammates rated you, and the average rating for you and your team. So as you can see, I did not have as good of ratings for this one. And my averages are brought down by the ratings of my team even ones that I didn't rate myself so well. So depending on how your whole team rated you will depend on where these ratings actually end up. So some of them are in the middle, some of them are skewed towards the team rating, and some of them are skewed otherwise. So a way for you to improve is to read these recommendations at the bottom of each rating. It'll depend based on each question. And that is how you interpret your results. Have a good one and take it easy.